Hello, Julie Lewin here. I am a medical intuitive and I'm celebrating 30 years in metaphysics. Today's tip is a bit of an update on what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Um, I said in a previous video that if you suffer from high blood pressure to look at the foods that you're eating because I had discovered that nitrites significantly impacted on my blood pressure and pushed me up into the quite high area or zone. So since then what I've done is I've cut all nitrites out of my diet. I have decided that I will use our magnificent juicer that we have and I've been juicing nearly every day for the last couple of weeks. And what I've also found is that I don't really want to drink cups of tea with milk. So I've reduced my caffeine intake right down and I probably have one or two cups of coffee in the morning and basically zero cups of tea. And I was getting five, six cups of tea in a day and the juices just completely transformed that. I was getting a very big belly and the, there was um, fat underneath my, my breasts and the top of the stomach. That's all gone now and um, what I also notice when I get high blood pressure I get very very puffy in the face so that seems to be one of the areas that my fluid retention comes in and my eyes have been feeling really clear and also my brain has been feeling much clearer as well and the other thing is that I'm waking up in the morning and I'm feeling clear so it's only now that I'm, I'm not suffering from slightly elevated blood pressure my blood pressure is generally 110 over 72, 73 now, which is what I used to be many years ago. And the difference in how I feel is indescribable. It's not that I was unwell before, but I had a lot of headaches and I felt sluggish. And I was thinking that it was my liver. But since doing these juicings and bringing my blood pressure down into the 110s and the 70s, I'm really discovering that it may be elevated blood pressure that makes me feel um, like I'm not as motivated as I should be. Uh, so if you suffer from procrastination or lack of motivation, get your blood pressure checked and maybe even invest in a um, blood pressure monitor yourself, check your blood pressure regularly and you'll get an idea of what's going on. I know for me that food significantly affects my blood pressure. I am feeling so amazing. I'm even motivated to walk. Now anyone who knows me, that's like on the bottom of my list. And when I want to do things like that, that that's my indicator that I'm starting to improve in my health and I, f I feel like I'm craving the juices so the purpose of this video is to encourage you to start juicing get your own juicer if you don't have your own juicer it's going to be the best investment that you make for your health and wellness and I watched a, and the reason I started doing all of this I watched a video or a documentary rather, late one night of a, an Australian fellow who I think he had urticaria which is a skin condition and he was on on steroids, prednisolone or prednisone, something like that and that made him put on a lot of weight and so he decided that he would do something so he juiced and it's worth seeing if you can find that documentary because he also helped an American trucking guy do the same thing. So they got off their drugs, they lost all of the weight, they lost the pain out of their body, they lost the condition, the skin condition. Both of these fellows did juicing for 60 days, but they did it with strict um, 
monitoring by their doctor. I'm not j totally juicing, I'm just juicing, having one or two juices a day and I'm eating food as well. But if you have a health condition that you believe may benefit from juicing, talk to your doctor, find that documentary and see how this Australian fellow has done it and you may just transform your life. And the thing that he was talking about was that the fruit and vegetables provide us with our micronutrients and he discovered how important they were. So I'm, I'm working on the presumption that my body wants micronutrients and I can tell you I am feeling 100% to how I was feeling a month ago after going on a month long binge of eating lollies that Frank was buying and, and he said, well, you don't have to eat them. And I said, I'm weak. Uh, I was actually addicted to sugar. I can see that now because I'm not craving lollies at all. And the other amazing thing is my migraines have stopped. I'm not waking up with a headache. So there's a whole lot of issues there is I've balanced my blood sugar, I'm not craving sugar, I'm giving my body what it needs in a really healthy way and uh, I'm reaping the benefits. So I hope this, and this is a longer video, but I hope that it has inspired you to do something more for you and your health and juicing is the way to go. I look forward to the next video. See you.